If you want to avoid losing your drone due to a flyaway, then listen to this video very carefully. Hi, I'm Ashwin Droning On. Now, when we talk about a flyaway, what we're referring to is the drone losing its lock position with either the ground or with its compass and GPS positioning system. In the event of losing such a lock, the drone will start to drift with the wind. We call that a flyaway because essentially the drone will not hold its position by itself. And unless you give manual input on the transmitter, the drone will literally fly away until it hits something or runs out of battery. It will generally maintain its altitude because of its internal barometer, but it won't maintain its position and therefore you have to take immediate manual control to make sure that you try and bring the drone back to you. You'll also hear this referred to as ATI mode and that's why it's really good to buy yourself a non-GPS drone such as the Eoshin E58 because that drone doesn't have a GPS, it doesn't have any positioning at all and therefore flying a drone like that will enhance your skills to fly in ATI mode so that if you do ever suffer a loss of sensing and position hold it means you do have the skills to actually bring your drone back home. In my many years of flying DJI drones, I've only experienced one ATI mode flyaway. Fortunately, I've been flying radar controlled planes and helicopters since I was 12 years old, and so I was able to take control of the drone and fly it back without any of the sensors actually functioning. But I guarantee that the majority of consumers out there with GPS drones do not have that skill set. Therefore, it's critical that you buy a non position hold drone to practice with. There is a common misconception around the compass within a drone. This is a crucial little bit of tech. As you're probably all very familiar, compasses generally consist of different axes. So you have north, south, east, and west. When the drone's up in the air, the compass tells it which way around it's facing because whilst GPS can tell it where it is, GPS does not tell it which way it's facing. Just like many other sensors, the compass needs calibration. And that's to ensure that when the drone is pointing north, it actually is pointing north. And if that calibration slips and the sensor isn't reporting the correct data back to the main processing unit, then the drone doesn't know which way it's facing and that results in a flyaway. Drones such as the Mavic 2 have dual compasses and during flight, the Mavic 2 is constantly comparing the value between those two to make sure that if any errors detected, it has a fallback. However, some drones in the DJI range only have a single compass, including the Mavic Air 2. And that means if things go wrong, you're going to end up getting a flyaway. Now, if you're close enough to the ground, then the drone's VPS system, which stands for Visual Positioning System, will make sure that it still holds its position even if the compass fails. However, that can also go wrong. And if you are above a certain altitude and the VPS can't track the ground carefully, then you'll still end up with a flyaway. Now, many will say that you don't need to calibrate the compass of your drone unless the app tells you, but that's incorrect and it's bad advice. It takes just literally 10 seconds to calibrate the compass on this drone. You do look rather silly whilst doing it spinning around. However, that can be the difference between flying and landing safely or ending up having to bring your drone back manually or losing it entirely. Personally, whenever I'm flying my drone, I calibrate the compass before the first flight. I don't recalibrate it again that day, but before the first flight, always calibrate that compass. There's a very good reason for this, and that is the system within the app that tells you when you need to recalibrate your compass works on thresholds. And it's when it detects that the compass inside the drone is nearing that threshold that it prompts you to recalibrate the compass. But what if you're flying one day and that threshold is breached during the flight? It's a very minimal value to you if the app tells you that you need to recalibrate the compass when you're already 100 meters up in the air and 1,000 meters away from you. Because if you're that far away, you're gonna have very little chance of being able to bring the drone back safely if the compass fails entirely. However, if you calibrate the compass first thing before your first flight of that day, at least you know that those thresholds are a long way away and you've effectively got a really fully functioning compass. It also helps if you ever do lose your drone and it's still under warranty or guarantee, because if you can prove that you calibrated the compass before the flight, at least there can be no accusation that you weren't looking after your drone and following the routine maintenance. Hopefully this guide has been useful. I don't want to see any of my subscribers losing a drone, so please do comment below if you found this useful. Give this video a thumbs up, 
or a thumbs down if your face needs calibrating. And of course, hit that subscribe button to make sure you don't miss future tutorials like this. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.